what's going on guys welcome back to garage builds today we're going to be working on the front end as you guys can see here is our whole front end separator from the chassis first we're going to start by taking out these shocks because uh this time we're going to try not to take too much apart from the front we're actually going to remove this front bumper the shocks and let's hope that we can just remove this front cover and cross the fingers and everything should come right out from there let's get to it all right guys and just like that the differential comes right out how amazing was that pretty simple and i like it now let's clean this up a bit and let's take it apart we got to get all this grease out and replace it with some fresh fluids let's get to it and if you didn't see my previous video doing the rear to remove the first part you're going to remove these four screws this top part is going to come out you're going to remove all the gears from the inside make sure you don't lose no shims this one small screw right here is to remove the pin that's inside to remove the diff cup. And that's pretty much it. Let's get it cleaned up. All right, now that we got some of our fluid in, I'm trying to show you guys that it's really, really important. You see all those bubbles in there? Yup, that's air. So you have to make sure that whenever you fill up your diff with fluid, same thing with your shocks, anything that has to do with fluid being sealed inside, you gotta make sure you let all the air out. Make sure you let it sit. You saw that? That bubble just came out. So pretty much what happens if you close this right now without letting all these bubbles out, once you close it and it starts to sit, all those bubbles are gonna start to disappear while it's sealed and your fluid is gonna start to go down because the air is starting to come out. So make sure you can get these topped off. Make sure you get all the bubbles out before you seal them up. Super important. Thank you. 
And just like that, the front end is back together. So for now, that's all we're gonna do because I will be changing the oil and my shocks, but I will be doing that behind the scenes. I don't wanna bore you guys with that. Unless y'all wanna watch me change some shock fluids, it's nothing. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for the reassembly video. We're gonna put everything back together on the Kyosho. And let's hope we can get this thing back up and running. And we can get it to the track. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Garage Builds. As you guys can see here, we have our motor, our Kyosho motor here, with our dirty little old filter that was actually brand new, but we took it racing the last time. And uh, today we will be upgrading our pipe. So you guys can see here, let me take this off real quick. As you guys can see here, this is our stock pipe right here. And this one right here is the one we're going to be adding. Supposedly that this header right here is supposed to be like a uh, smooth flow header. And this right here, boys, it's a little gem, as you guys can see. Pretty worn out, but if you look real close, it's a Nova Rossi tune pipe. I think the numbers are here, uh, 2096, I think it is. Yep, Air Fra 2096. That's exactly what it is. And here we have our smooth flow pipe. So let's see if this pipe right here can wake this puppy up. Let's change it right up. And here we got ourselves from Horizon Hobby, we got ourselves some new seals and we got our springs. This is a 1 8 inline exhaust rebuild kit. This right here is gonna make some miracles. So let's get to it, guys. All right, so before we get started, should be pretty easy to remove this. Uh, on this one, we just have coupler, so we can just leave this. Don't take this off. And pretty much all we need to do just remove this spring right here. Get yourself some pliers. You just literally pull it right out. And after this comes out, your whole exhaust should come right off. And then you put your new seals in there. And we can install our tune pipe. Let's get to it. All right, so a little heads up for you guys. Make sure that you be careful when you're trying to put these on because I literally just ripped a new one. Look at that. She ripped right open. Cause I was trying to force it in there. So I didn't know you literally just had to put on the top. We get the new springs in there. Now, let's put it onto our motor. All right, guys, we're all done installing our tuned pipe. As you guys can see there, we got our seal in there, new springs. The rear, we got the spring in there, and we got a seal. So, we should be good to go. Can't wait to put everything back together so we can take it a track. We can see what this little thing can do. Hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.